So since that major dip, we have had quite a good bounce across crypto, across Bitcoin and all altcoins. In this video, we're going to have a look at general crypto market sentiment. And then we're going to have a look at Chili's. We're going to have a do of some price analysis, have a look at some key levels that I could invest and then some price targets going forward. If you're new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that like button and let's crack on. So hello, welcome to Operation Crypto. If we just start off with Bitcoin, as you can see, we are piercing above that magical 40k line, which is that red line there. We have pretty much struggled to stay above it. I mean, these are only 15 minute candles. What we need is at least a four hourly candle closure above this region to then push on towards the next region. I mean, I was looking at, let's just have a quick zoom out, this region here. I think this is a key area for Bitcoin, up at around 42k. We have been up there recently but we have not actually pierced any daily candles above that. So we're looking for a break and a closure above 42k to maintain this trend. We do know that contract expires, so Bitcoin and Ethereum are happening tomorrow. Currently, the bears are winning, supposedly, with um, a surplus of $500 million. So let's see. A nice closure above that for me will send us up higher. I mean, the next level will be at 45k to break through, but it's okay at the minute. If we just look at the daily, which is quite interesting, just a bit of zoom out on this MACD. As you can see, the MACD is coming towards the end of its bearish phase. And we are about to get a crossover on those moving averages down there. So on the daily time frame, it is actually looking quite bullish. We have done that 30k drop and use that as a nice area of support. And we are now on that relief rally. I think that potentially we could tick to the upside here. If we do get a tick to the upside, then we will definitely see some upward momentum, break that 42k region, and then we can look at targeting 45k. Depends what's going to happen in the next month or two. I mean, we could pretty much go sideways now. We know we've done that, that massive rise to the upside. You could say this is a bit of a consolidation top. It's not a blow-off top. I mean, if you look back to 2020, it was just one vertical candle, um, and that was on the daily. This is not a top for me i think this is just um, a new all-time high it's going to now consolidate for a while before we then take the next leg up um, who knows when it's going to be it could be towards the end of the year could be mid-year but just need to sit on his hands and see make sure you're buying your favorite crypto hodl and i think long term we will all be rewarded so in this video we're going to take a look at chilies we'll look at both the usdt pair and we'll also take a look at the BTC pairing too. So starting off here, I'll tell you what, we'll just delete all this. That is your time high. We did hit 94 cent before we've done quite a substantial retracement from there to there. We have done a 82% drop. A lot of projects have done that and fear has brought that down. Originally, this was profit taking from those highs. We did bounce back more profit taking and then the entire crypto market dumped. And brought us down if you look at this on the um the daily time frame as you can see same scenario as bitcoin it looks like we might potentially have a tick to the upside so we may start to push on what i want to do is just mark up the bottom here which was 16 cent wow what a bottom that was as you can see we're very close to that wick there uh, and then we have bounce as support so the daily time frame looking okay we was oversold we have bounced back up from there on this relief rally so what i want to do is have a look at the four hour time frame and identify a few key buying levels um we are in bullish territory on the macd so that's good let's put the fibonacci on have a look at some key levels for investments we just had a double top there so we may come back down but we have hit the highs of 33 cent on this move so if you're looking for some buys i would target this region at 27 cent and if we do get a bit of a market shakeout coming into these contract expiries, um, altcoins might feel a bit of pressure too. So look at 22.8 cent for some buy. So there you two buy zones, 27 cent all the way down to 22 cent. If you're looking to place a few orders, then maybe ladder them down within that range there. And I think you might get a good chance of picking at least one or two orders up within that area. If we're looking for some tech profit regions, if we do continue this move, or even if we come down and then start pushing on, we can look at these extensions on the Fibonacci at 38 cent. And we also have this region here at um, 44 cent. Currently, we are at this level here, very similar to Bitcoin. So we had no closures above there, as you can see. We've had a little bit of a closure within this area, but rejected out of it. I think if we do push on and close above this region here, about that top wick, which is level with there, if you look at that wick, 
if we do close above the top of that box we are definitely going to these two levels at 44 and 38 cents so let's just monitor that price fingers crossed we can get some orders filled before we do start to push on um, we do another weekend coming up um, so it could be quite volatile so just um be prepared for savage moves to the upside and to the downside and do not try and get caught out in a um overexposed leverage trading if you're going to be doing some leverage trading um I recommend no more than 5x because um, things can move very, very quick in crypto. So that is the um, the Tether pair covered. If we just take a quick look at the BTC pair in two. I've got a few levels on here, which we'll just tell you what. Shall we get rid of those? Yeah, we'll get rid of those. And we'll just start with a fresh blank canvas. Go to a daily time frame. Have a bit of a zoom out and see what's going on here. So again, we did that savage dip to the upside. We've not actually retraced too much on the... Um, on the btc pairing but we are trending down now i mean you could say that is a downtrend uh, let's manipulate that a little bit so that is a downtrend now and pretty much to get any um sort of um rally above that we do need to close some daily candles above that region if you're just looking at macd again we're getting about that time when we're going to get a crossover on the moving averages and the histogram could potentially tick bullish. If you look at these last three times we've ticked bullish, it's only been a short period of time before it's actually got sold into. So who let's know. Um let's wait and see. We may get a good period of growth once you do break above this trend. Um, so all in all, still looking like we're trending down and we're having a downtrend on the daily. Looking at a four hour rope, we can analyze this latest move here. So potential a bit of a bull flag there, um, but we're not going to look into that. We'll have a look at some potential areas that we could invest. So we have hit those highs, retrace. We're currently set on that 236 level at 786 Satoshis. If you're looking for some buys, I would target them at 737. And then I would also target some buys down at 656. So maybe any orders three to four orders within that top um, there to that bottom there and i think you might be able to pick some up within that range if we're looking at targets and this first target area is quite a crucial target if we just highlight that as a horizontal array so that is extension there at minus 0 0.27 and that's at 958 satoshis it is a key level because if we do break above that um we're going to either reject as it is the downtrend um or if we close above it, then it will be massive. And I think if we do close above it, we'll see some, some parabolic action. I think it is lining up that way for a nice solid breakout. Remember though, if we do want to break out of it, there's a good potential that we could um, always flip to the downside. What am I looking for here? My arrow. So potential is if we come out here, we could also then pop back down to this level before we actually then start shooting up again at some stage so let's just monitor that that is a potential setup i'm going to leave that on the chart now for um the next few weeks and let's just monitor that and if we do get this breakout here i might look to enter either a trade um or even a spot position um investment and let's see if we can ride that up and get a little bit of profit um coming our way so that is your buy zones then you first take profit region at 958 sats and then you can look at 1000 satoshis here um, or 1076 um, for a potential sell as well what i will do is once we get to this region here i will jump into some further price analysis and have a look at some more key levels and maybe even jump into a bit of a price prediction going into that next video so that's going to do it for today if you're new to this channel then please make sure that you are subscribed hit that like button and i'll catch you next time